I'm just gonna say this right now, excuse the noise, they're doing some kind of construction down here, so we're just gonna have to work through it. But today we're gonna go ahead and install the aftermarket fuel pressure regulator on the 240SX SR20. Um, things you'll need is a rail adapter and a fuel pressure regulator. I don't really care which one you get. Um, there's so many out there. Pretty much all you really want is one that holds pressure and a gauge to read the pressure. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is relieve the fuel pressure. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here this is the fuse box close to the battery. You're gonna remove your fuel pump fuse. Mine's a 10 amp, so we're gonna remove that. The 10 amp is right here. You're gonna remove that, start the car, basically let the car die on its own, and then relieve the gas tank pressure by removing the fuel cap. All right, so the line that we're gonna be messing with is this line right here. Uh, this line's gonna be the one under pressure. Um, so what you're going to do is, you're going to have your fuel pressure regulator inlet is going to go to here, and then the outlet is going to go to where this thing was connected to. Um, and then the vacuum source would be this right here. It's kind of sunny, I'm sorry guys. Um, but basically, if you have it all hooked up on your car, there's a vacuum tube right here that connects to the throttle body. Pretty much you're just going to use that same source and hook that up to the fuel pressure regulator and you should be good to go. All right, so here's my fuel pressure regulator. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this out. Um, my fuel pressure regulator right here. Um, it's pretty good. And it comes with some fittings. I think these are dash six, so I will convert to dash six later on, um, but for right now, uh, I just really wanna get my car tuned, so we're gonna go ahead and just use these barbed ones right here for the meantime until we uh, get the dash six in so there it is um, I'm assuming that paper there is instructions and I think this one right here is uh, my gauge pretty sick water filled or liquid filled I should say and um, yeah so right now we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out where we're gonna install this uh, fuel pressure regulator and then uh, we're gonna go from there. Uh, cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prep this uh, fuel pressure regulator right now. Um, since we are using the barbed uh, as opposed to the ANs, I will do the ANs in the future. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and install these onto the fuel pressure regulator. Um, pretty much you just look at the diagram on the instructions. So this one right here is gonna be for your fuel pressure sensor. This one's gonna be the return to the tank and the last one is going to be for the inlet into the fuel rail. Um, before you install these, it's a nice thing to do is go ahead and wrap some um, like plumber's tape on the threadings and um, install that before you uh, screw in the fittings. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the finished product. Alright, this is just to show you what I did. You really don't have to go crazy on this. It's pretty much one revolution end to end on that plumber's tape and you should be good to go. If you do put too much, you'll find out that you'll be able to screw down the whole fitting into the um, fuel pressure regulators. So, you know, trial and error. But to be honest with you, one rotation or one revolution end to end of the tape. All right, so here it is, all installed. Pressure gauge in the outlet ports. And um, I do have the uh, plumber's tape, Teflon tape, for what you want to call it. But yeah, next is to go ahead and install it. And then, um, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, fuel pressure rail adapter for this so that we can connect it to each other. Alright guys, so here it is, the rail adapter. Um, same thing as with the fuel pressure regulator. We're going to go ahead and hit the threads with some PT, also known as some plumber's tape. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. Oh yeah, don't forget, you need to put an O-ring on here. Uh, if you don't do that, you're going to end up leaking out. So yeah, O-ring. Throw some PT on this, and this should be good to go. All right, so here it is, a uh, fuel rail adapter. I threw an O-ring on there, and also some PT on the threads. Um, the O-ring was kind of, it, it was a toss up between the uh, seven millimeter inner diameter by 11 millimeter outer diameter, which is this one, and an eight millimeter inner diameter with a 12 millimeter outer diameter um, this one is kind of loose like if you were to pinch it like you can scrunch up the the uh, 
o-ring as opposed to this one sorry hit the camera it's a really snug fit um, so the one that you really want a snug fit on this like I said if you do not put this on you're gonna leak from the fuel rail because it's under pressure um, and you don't want that so yeah I, w I went ahead and just chose a seven millimeter inner diameter by 11 millimeter outer diameter which is this one right here um, I got metric o-rings so I mean it's a good thing for you guys to get these you guys can also service your um, injectors you know if you break an o-ring or whatnot you know it's always nice to have these so so yeah there it is all finished up ready to go all right so this seems to be the location that I want to run the um, fuel pressure regulator unfortunately with this style since there is no threading here I'm using one of the existing holes that were on the shock tower I'm just going to put a bolt and a nut through it with a lock washer or something um, and that's where it's going to be hooked up to all we got to do now is that wire right or that wire that hose right there coming off the fuel pressure regulator the OEM one we're going to splice into it um, one of them is going to connect to the bottom end which goes back to the tank and then the outlet end right there is going to reconnect to the adapter that I put onto here so that seems to be the plan of what we're going to do um, let me see if I can get to it alright so I already disconnected a hose that goes to the fuel pressure regulator the OEM one and I'm going to go ahead and prep it so that I can insert the adapter onto the rail and just have to cut this one here to length to connect to the fuel pressure regulator and I should be set so almost there alright there it is it's all completed um, I gotta go run and grab some uh, hose clamps, but uh, anyways, here it is, a uh, fuel rail adapter that's connected to the uh, inlet port on the fuel pressure regulator, and you can see this one right here, that one's going to go down to the tank, and there we go, completed. Um, I'm going to have to clean this up, there's just a lot of stuff going on here, I really don't like it, but it should be working, um, there it is. Alright guys, hope you guys learned how to do it. Um, there's a lot of forms out there that show you how to do it. Or tell you how to do it actually, but I'm hoping this will help you out. But there it is. And it looks pretty good. Bam. And then there's the vacuum right there connected to the top and outlet. Alright guys, Till next time, thanks again for watching and deuce.